the skating lesson. I'm Dave Lees, and today I'm thrilled to welcome European bronze medalist Matteo Rizzo. Matteo, welcome to the skating lesson. Hi, everyone. Thank you. So we've been watching you on the Grand Prix this season. You've been adding a lot of quads in. Now, you had an interesting reaction because you won the bronze medal last weekend in China, but we couldn't tell if you were happy or not so happy after your skate. Your face kind of said a lot. So <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling? Yeah. Well, uh, of course, uh, after Canada, I was uh, I was disappointed because it was not uh, the programs that I, I wanted to skate. But anyway, I had to go in China and skate uh, better than in Canada. So I started both programs really good. So I'm, I'm happy with that because I worked really hard after Canada. But then both of the second half of the programs were a bit off. So I was like halfway happy and of course happy for the medal and to achieve also the result. But I was a little mad because, uh, you know, uh, doing all those mistakes and still getting uh, third overall, it's good. But I can see that I have a potential to be better in that competition. So what is your focus this season? Because we've seen you that you've been trying to add more quads. Um, do you think that that's changed your consistency with the overall layout of the program because you had the quad loop in, you've kind of rearranged things? So. Well, yes. Uh, one thing that I know for myself is that uh, more quads need more time mm -hmm. for me. So uh, also adding just one quad with another type of quad, it's really hard for me. I'm trying to do it this season because we are kind of far away from the Olympics, but not so far away. So I knew that this year, this season was kind of like transition season for me between like, a, uh, I can, I always say like from a young skate, from a, like a, a better and a more quality skater. So I'm really trying to get everything together, the components part and the technical part, but maybe I need one full season to set this up. And of course, for the next season will be uh, a much easier and more consistent. Mm -hmm. So, have you thought about doing two quad toes in the program? For we 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 thought a lot because uh, of course the toe now is coming back, which in the beginning of the season was a, a little bit uh, uh, hard mm -hmm. for me. I don't know, maybe because of the loop. Mm -hmm. So we now we're trying to of course work on two quads uh, toe. Or maybe uh, doing two quads is a difference, so one loop and one toe. It, it really had to be uh, easy to me to understand during practices, so I need to practice a lot. Mm -hmm. And maybe for the really second half of the season, which means Europeans and World Championship, it would be uh, easier to also go in competition and know what to do. Mm -hmm. So I really have uh, two months now to really work hard between that, that there is a national championship, we, which is a very important competition for us. So, I mean, I have time. I, I took this season, like, off okay. for, uh, to, to be consistent because I need to know where is my limit and what I can do for the Olympics. So what quads are you working on? Do you work Sal? Because you went from toe to loop, which is a little surprising. You yeah. a good axle. What made you want to go to the loop instead of the Sal? Because Salko, uh, uh, everyone that knows me knows that uh, that's not my job. Okay. <laughs> what do you not like there. about the Sal? I don't know. I, I just feel so uh, difficult to do it. Even the just triple alone, okay. in nothing not in, uh, in a combination, it's so hard for me. So I, of course, work quite Sal, but it's very, very hard. Mm -hmm. So from the toe, I went to the loop, which is much easier for me. Mm -hmm. And of course, during the summer, I worked also flip and lats. But uh, I think for me, it's not really the time to have those two jumps. Mm -hmm. So maybe in the, in the next years. But the loop was the easiest one to understand how to rotate, and how to have the timing. So I actually have the loop. Mm -hmm. But it's really complicated to to put everything together in one program in four minutes or even in two and a half minutes. Okay. So let's talk about the quads because you worked on them all this summer. And you went to Toronto to work on them. And 
How many boys exactly are jumping quads there? Because you have Hanyu, you have three or four Canadian uh, boys. Yes, yeah, so we have uh, uh, Yuzuro, which is, of course, jumping quad. Okay. Then we have Jun, the Korean guy. Mm -hmm. He's jumping quad. Then we have uh, two Canadians, which is Joseph Fan and Conrad Ordo. Well, and then now I don't really remember everyone, but a lot of them jump squad. And uh, for me, it was easier, of course, to see everyone jumping quad and to learn a new quad. Do you learn by watching and that extra motivation to pull it out? Yeah. Um, well, uh, I can say that 50%, yes. Mm -hmm. I watch a lot and I learn from that. So, uh, of course, jumping with them, it's, it's much easier to, uh, under, to, I mean, the period of learning of the jump getting smaller. Okay. This is what I'm trying to say. And, of course, Bri Mr. Brian is... Uh, um, tremendous coach. I mean, I love him, how technique he has and everything, the, the personality. So I really enjoy to work with him mm -hmm. and I hope to, to go back to Toronto to work with him again. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're there, do you also work with Gislaine? Do you work with Tracy? How does it work? Do you just work with Um, I mean, uh, I work sometimes with Gislaine, but Usually I was working with uh, Brian and with uh, my dad, with, which was, of course, there with me as uh, my coach. Okay. And then we used to do, like, skating skills with Tracy and, or Jeffrey Bottle okay. and everything. Wait, sorry, just popped up. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and, <laughs> now, do you – does your dad your main coach? Because – also, no, my main out. coach is uh, Franca Bianconi, yeah. and my dad is like my second coach, but mm -hmm. they are always working together as a, a one coach, Okay. so I don't really have first and second, I have one coach, which is my dad and, my, and Franca Bianconi together, Okay. always been like this. So when you were in Toronto, that would have been when Yuzu was working on the quad axle, trying quince and the harness, mind-blowing oh. stuff, or, yeah. No, I mean, um, Yuzu, I can say that he's a really hard worker. Mm -hmm. I enjoy to work with him because he's really focused when he's on the ice. And I don't really have time to watch him yeah. during practices because yeah. uh, I, you have to really be focused, focused when you jump and when you learn new jumps. So, of course, I saw him trying some uh, uh, quads, but I don't really, I cannot really say it was good or not because I was not really watching him as a, as a like outsider. Yeah. I just mean, it must be amazing to be yes. on the ice in that yes. experience, you know? Yes. So for you, when did you start working the quad loop? Cause we've seen you attempt it. We haven't seen you rotate it in competition, but you have, yeah. you know, um, I started working in the beginning of June, June. and oh. then, I landed my first when I went back to Italy and was uh, um, like August 15th, okay. so around two months. Okay. So that was not a really long time. Okay. But uh, then again, during competition, it's a little hard to, to get everything together. Yeah. So you, you really did put it in early to try to get out the experience. Yeah, I tried. I mean, uh, first competition was in my ice rink where I practiced mm -hmm. in Lombardia Trophy. So I, I said just, okay, I, I know everything about these ice rings, so I don't have to get used to, I don't have jet lag, I have nothing, so I can try to, to do some extras. That was the loop. <laughs> now, you had such a successful season last year, you know, meddling on the Grand Prix, meddling at Europeans. Did you feel more pressure this year going into your competitions to kind of... Um, no, because I think it's a regular like processing of an athlete to 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 start to have uh, medals mm -hmm. at the Grand Prix or European. So of course it's great to have, mm -hmm. and uh, and of course it means that the next year I should be able to reach those results again. Uh, right now I, I did the, the medal at the Grand Prix, but even if it was not like my goal, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I'll see him during the season at what's going to be uh, happening at the Europeans or at Worlds. Okay. So last season, you you know, you did achieve so much. What do you think made the difference? You know, you really made such a jump from the season before to then. Is it all the added experience? Or what? You know? I can say that I, I competed a lot the past two years. I did like in two years more than 20 competitions. 
which is not so usual for a figure skater. And I earned a lot of experience, a lot of confidence with myself. And of course, last year, I added just the quad toe, but I was working the toe since more than one year already. So it was easier to put in the program and to get everything together. That's the main difference from last year to this year because the loop was, it's really new. Everything is new, just so fast. But last year, yes, I was uh, happy with the, the confidence that I had during the season. Okay. Now, you talked about doing a lot of competitions. You did the Olympics, then you did the World Juniors and the Worlds all in a very short period of time. And a lot of athletes have a huge come down after the Olympics. So. How kind of were you able to do that? Um, I think uh, so. Uh, two years, two se- I say two seasons ago, right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did that. Um, it was really a tough season because I started with a, a very easy Lombardia trophy as usual in the Challenger series, but for already was really hard because I had to be the first Italian man in that competition to go to Oberzo take the place for Italy in the Olympic Games. So we're just one by one by one by one. And then, uh, so then we did uh, the national championship that I had to win to go to the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, of course, there were Europeans in the middle. Mm -hmm. But then during the period from the Olympics to World Championship, it was just something that was flying for me because... I did two competitions at the Olympics, the team event and the my event, which is both four programs, uh, sorry, about two uh, competitions were great for me. Then I went back home, we decided to go to for the junior awards, it was great result, of course, the medal. And then, of course, there was a world championship in Milan, so I could not miss that. Mm-hmm. And just uh, the energy, I took the energy from the crowd in Italy because I was really tired there. Okay. I can't say now, but the, the people was giving me a lot of energy, so I had to go through that. After that, did you have like a yes. break? <laughs> and like, could you <laughs> a meltdown, a good cry? Yeah, afterwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. After that, I went off for a month without skating. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess, what is your kind of goals for the current season? You know, you were talking about the second half. You want to get things in there. Is it more important results? Or are you looking for to put the different quads in, what kind of? I'm okay. I'm looking for myself this season, so I don't care if, uh, like, if I skate a clean program and I get last, I don't care. Uh, the main thing for me is to skate a clean program mm-hmm. to get the the quads all together, and not only the quads, but all the rest of the program because it's not just jumps, but spins, steps, and the choreo part. So it's really important to to get the components higher, to to reach the level of like eight point five or even nine when I see it clean, and then I for sure the like the results the medal will come to me when I if I skate clean. So right now I'm focusing on myself first. How much do you do your full program and then sections every day? Because one of the things I notice is that you're usually more consistent than your other competitors and usually have higher grades of execution for all of your elements and a lot of the guys that are trying the harder quads make more mistakes but they also don't look like they train the mm-hmm. spins and the footwork as much so is that kind of part of your strategy well we uh, we have a good practice at home i think we we figured out how uh, i can do my best in practice and to be better in competition so we have like a schedule Mm-hmm. that I follow, that my coaches and my office coaches, they all like do meetings to, to get everything together. Like from now, which is November 17th, until uh, December 15th, which is national championship, I have already everything done. So I just have to follow day by day, and I know that in the competition I will be fine with that. Do you feel good about what you have to do in the next month? Is it as hard as over the summer, or is it like okay? Well, I mean, always during the winter, it's you work more in the cardio part, mm-hmm. so you have to do programs, you have to do uh, like uh, interval training and everything, of course. Mm-hmm. But um, during the summer, it's so much different because you just jump, you jump, 
you jump, you really jump a lot. You don't really care about the cardio part. And uh, that's why also this uh, this summer, I also forgot a little bit the cardio. Okay. Uh, so the first, the start of the season was really hard mm-hmm. for me to get also the program until the end. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah. what kind of work do you do off the ice? Um... Off the ice, we work, uh, we... We like to work without machines, so with the, with our body, we do like run. We run. We go to with the bike sometimes. We 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 do jumps. We do uh, of course rotations and everything. But the, the main thing is to get uh, your body strong enough. But we don't use like machines to get muscles and everything. We just use our body to, to get lean. our body yeah. stronger. Yeah, for those quads. No, your skating yes. skills have always been really strong. Is that no? Both of your parents are ice dancers. Did they coach you from when you were little, or how did this? Yes. Okay. Yeah, uh, I can say uh, when I started figure skating, uh, I was eight. My first competition, I was eight, but I was of course skating even before that, just to stay with uh, with my mom or with my dad on the ice, and always when they were doing like skating skills with the, their eyes dance team, I was with them. So I, I always, uh, I was always doing skating skills as a single skater and skating skills as a eyes dance, which is so much different because they use more edges and it has to be clean edges and everything. So I really got used to that. And through the years for me, it was really easy to learn like how to use my body, how to use edges and jump. So, I think they helped helped me a lot on that. Did you? Did they try to put you in ice dance? Because I read your sister competed in ice dance too. So. Yes, but they never like tried. Mm-hmm. I always said I don't want to do ice dance. Uh, I prefer to be single. Mm-hmm. Even now, like I I like ice dance. I would like to try, but I prefer to be alone on the ice. I prefer to to if I do mistake, it's my myself that I do mistakes and not another person next to me <laughs> so they didn't try to have you like no you know, no no, no. your sister or anything on the ice no no never. never so you train with franca so she also coached valentina um so did you no. grow up with valentina in the rink yes uh, valentina, i know valentina since i was very young very mm. very young and uh she was uh, working uh, we were working the same ice rink for the past um, I can say eight years, maybe, <laughs> yeah. or six or seven years. So uh, she's really, uh, she's always supporting me, mm-hmm. or even now if she's not skating anymore. But uh, it was really um, important for me to have a person like her next to me. Mm-hmm. So now if the Olympics are going to be in Italy in 2026, are you mentally preparing yourself to go that long? I guess, what is kind of your thought process? Mm, yes, uh, I will be there for sure. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's going to be a very important competition and event mm-hmm. for, not just for me, not just for all the athletes, but for Italy, like as a, as a territory and everything is going to grow. So we are already starting to build like new buildings, new facilities for the Olympics. So mm-hmm. The city is already moving, and it's going to be a huge event, and I'm going to be ready for that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be my last competition or not, but I mean, I, it's six, six and a half years. Mm-hmm. It's a long time, but uh, when you, uh, like, I will be competing in that period of time. So it's, I think it's going to be fast mm-hmm. to, to reach those uh, Olympics. You seem very methodical about everything. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Have you thought about, you know, the Olympics and what kind of your goals? Like, what would your ideal skating look like, kind of? In the Olympics in Torino? Uh, no, uh, sorry, sorry, the Olympics in, in China first. In China. Well, in China, we just have two and a half years. So, so I think the, like, my skating skills part is going to be more or less the same. Mm-hmm. And also my technical part will be more or less the same. Um, I will not for sure achieve like a free program with five quads. Mm-hmm. This is not my goal. Uh, but my goal is to be very consistent. Mm-hmm. 
so I can um, reach that event with a lot of uh, for like energy and everything build up together in a, I can say that I will go to that Olympic and be relaxed. Mm -hmm. So I know already what is going to happen. Okay. But I, I don't know, of course, the result and everything because it's so complicated. Mm -hmm. But uh, I want to be just relaxed during that Olympic. So how about your performance? You work with Shailen Bourne, who is used to getting the spark out of everyone. You know, kind of what is that like? And do you have ideas for music and programs that you would like to use? Well, um, working with Shailene was amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, I really enjoyed it this summer. And yes, like uh, I don't have really a, a kind of a, or a type of music that I want to skate to. I just like to skate and move with the music and everything. So like the, the short program of this year, I built it with Shailene and she... She asked me if I wanted to skate at that music, and I, we worked a little bit on the ice, and then we figured out it was okay. And uh, I just enjoy skating, so I don't have like a, a, um, a better type that I decide to, yes, I just want to skate in that kind of music. Mm -hmm. no. So what do you do off the ice? Are you studying uh, in school? Or uh, you... I, I, I was studying at university. I, I just stopped this year. And, but I, I will go back to university when I'm done with this season for sure. So, uh, um, and then usually I just um, relax during the day because really this season is a little tricky for me. I started, it's kind of hard. So I have to be more focused than usual. And uh, of course, everything that I do off the ice is helping me on the ice. Like mm -hmm. even hanging out with my friends is helping me on the ice. And uh, that's it. I have some hobbies. What are like, your hobbies? What do you like to do? I, I like to play uh, football, which is soccer in the yeah. US. <laughs> <laughs> I like to go like go-karting or paintball with a, with a paint gun. Mm -hmm. And I used to like go doing all this with my friends. So it's kind of funny. Okay. Now, are you watching anything good on Netflix? You know, on those long oh, flights to China. Oh, Netflix. <laughs> what are you watching? What do we need to? Oh, the last one I was watching. Uh, it's uh, atypical. This the third season just came out. Okay. <laughs> then I watched um, La Casa de Papel. I don't know in English. It's maybe the house, the House of Paper. Okay. I don't know if you have it. And then we have um, like Narcos. I'm watching it also on. Uh, on the TV, like the Big Bang Theory and everything. I've watched a lot of TV series. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have a lot of long flights for the rest of the season, so. Yeah. yeah. Do you like, like flying at least? Is it... Yeah, I, I, I enjoy flying. I like, like, um, airplanes. I like, all, I know all the models and stuff, mm -hmm. but the last trip was about 28 hours to go back from Kelowna. Okay. And was, was long. Okay. It was really long. <laughs> Do you have a favorite country that you've competed in or that you like to go to well for i think for every figure skater japan it's something special because the the audience is really uh, they know what they're watching every time because they they like our sport mm -hmm. i'm not i don't say that in other countries they don't like but in, in japan they understand everything and the, we 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 feel that because they understand every single detail that maybe in Italy they don't understand. Mm -hmm. So Japan is my favorite, yes. Yeah. And then obviously competing at home. Where are your Italian nationals this year? In my ice rink, in Bergamo. Oh, very nice. <laughs> A little yes. more pressure. Maybe everyone will come to see you. So Everyone, yes, will come. How many people are coming? So. Uh, from my family, I think uh, we reach almost 15, 16, so... Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we will be. Do you have other competitions before nationals, or do you have a nice no, break before? No, I just go to, straight to nationals. Okay. So you know how many quads are you, should we expect there? One, two. Um, I um, I think uh, two. Okay. Two, maybe two toes, and uh, but it depends really on the competition. Mm -hmm. Maybe I need just one. Maybe I need three. So uh, we have still a month, four weeks. 
it's a long amount of time. Uh, I'm already practicing. I just when I went back from China, the next day I was on the ice practicing. So the next day, uh, even with the jet lag and everything. Wow. Yes, yes, you have to go and work every time. How was the second half of the program? Was it better? <laughs> yes. Perfect. Like it was, was much better. <laughs> What do you want, want on the everything. second half of the program at Nationals? Like, should we be plus three? Like, we're going to watch this now to make sure it is... Yeah, I need to. I remember also there was one competition a few years ago. I did really uh, a lot of mistakes in the free program. Mm -hmm. So the next day when I went back home, I went on the ice and do again the free, the free program. And I skated a clean free program. Um, I was like... <laughs> I was like going crazy for that. Yeah. Oh well, we so look forward to watching you the rest of the season, and thanks so much for coming on the skating lesson. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much.